Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. We're less than two weeks away from the Samkang underpass to be finished according to the contractor. This is Phuket Extra. Sawadikrat and welcome to this Tuesday edition of Phuket Extra brought to you by the good folks at Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centaur Grand Beach Resort Phuket. I'm JP Mistanza. Our top story today is the leak of personal data of over 2,000 foreigners living in southern Thailand which was briefly on display late Sunday night on a test website from immigration police. Most of the data on the website contained personal information like passport numbers and occupations which was overlaid onto a Google Maps image. Though most of the foreign nationals affected live in Nakhon Si Tamara province, the information of some foreigners in Phuket may have also been affected. The website was available with a special code and you can't make this stuff up, the password was 12345. Immigration police have yet to respond to media inquiries. But reports say that Deputy Prime Minister Prawit Wong Suwon ordered the removal of the foreigners' data. The website has since been taken down. Netizens tracked down the website's owner, a developer named Akram Ali Ming, who mistakenly made the website public while performing tests and he admitted that it was commissioned by the immigration police. The leak comes as the government is pushing ahead with a crackdown on visa overstayers. It's also the latest cyber fail for the government after the National Police and Courts of Justice website was hacked earlier this year. Phuket Extra will stay with the story. And residents in southern and western Phuket are about to get much more power as construction on the long-awaited power substation on the west side of Kata Hill is almost finished. Officials say the project will help prevent outages and provide a much-needed power boost of up to 80 megawatts to Kata, Karan, Rawai, Naiharn, and Saiyuan. The new 280 million baht substation is expected to be online and operational this June. And we'll be back with more Phuket Extra right after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Thailand is taking baby steps to improve waste management as officials plan to put GPS devices on all trucks transporting industrial waste. The move is meant to help reduce illegal dumping of hazardous material. Officials will begin enforcing the new regulation in July. Everyone will be able to keep track of the trucks in real time through the industry ministry's website and a new Android app. And the final versions of the draft charter will be handed over to the NCPO today as Deputy PM Wong Suwon says the document will go straight to a referendum without any revisions. The public referendum on the new Thai constitution will take place on August 7th. If it passes, a general election will take place July 2017. Officials reiterated that the right to elect the prime minister will only belong to the House of Representatives, which is an elected body and not the Senate, which is appointed by the military. And finally, scientists all over the world are gushing about a cave-dwelling fish that lives in Thailand's border near Myanmar. The Cryptotoro tamicola climbs walls using its fins the same way land animals do, and experts say its unique anatomy could help us understand how our human ancestors evolved. Scientists have finally figured out the skeletal structure of the fish and not only is it blind, but it has a pelvis built for walking, which is bound by long ribs to the spine, much like ancient four-limbed tetrapods. Experts believe this tiny Thai fish may show how creatures first reached land. And thank you for watching this edition of Phuket Extra. Join us again tomorrow. We'll see you then. Get ready for a fantastic, fun-filled day out at the biggest water park in Phuket. All happening at Splash Jungle, just north of the airport. More info on splashjunglewaterpark.com.